Today we're going to talk about the most common youth sport injuries and some different exercises and techniques you can use to prevent them. So the most common injuries that we see tend to include the hip, the knee, and then also the ankle. So the injuries that are typically tied to these areas are plantar fasciitis, Achilles pain, and ankle sprains in terms of the ankle. In terms of the knee, we see lots of different types of tendonitis that occur. We also see knee sprains where the ligament will get a little bit overstretched. And we also see hip impingement in a lot of our youth athletes. So some of the things that we're gonna go over today is how we can bulletproof these athletes prior to starting up training so that they can avoid these injuries in the long run. So in the area of the ankle, the big focus here, or the main player is gonna be making sure you have a sufficient amount of calf strength. The calf is what propels you through the air as you run, as you jump, as you move. If you don't have good propulsion from the calf, then you are more susceptible to these different types of injuries. From a knee perspective, the knee tendonitis and knee sprains, cutting and then learning how to plant and control your knee stability as you cut, plant, and land is gonna be extremely important. So we're gonna go through that today in the video. And then also hip impingement, glute strength is gonna be your key component here. So let's check out some exercises. First exercise we're gonna run through is a calf raise. We're gonna have our heels hanging off the edge of a step or some plates. We'll hold on to something for balance. We're gonna drop the heels below and then we're gonna come all the way up onto our toes and then back down, just like that. If you have pain, I don't recommend doing this exercise. Go and get this treated. This is more for pain-free movement and sports prep. The next one is gonna be the same sort of movement, but with the, heat, with the knees bent. So you'll have the knees bent to about a 45 degree angle. You will not be on any sort of a platform or step, and you're gonna come up onto your toes, just like that. We're shooting for three sets of 20 repetitions. The goal is to try to do this, these exercises daily leading up to the start of the season. So the next movements I'm gonna show you relate to preventing knee tendonitis and knee sprains. So the first one is gonna be working on your cutting. So the key with cutting is having good knee stability so your knee doesn't wanna cave in too much as you cut. And the best way to train this is actually to start cutting before you have to do it for sport. So the way this is gonna work is you're gonna take a few steps to one side at about a 45 degree angle. You're gonna plant that foot and then you're going to pause for a second, have great knee stability and then push off. So it's gonna look something like this. You're, we're gonna take this angle here, you're gonna stop and you notice how my knee doesn't cave in, it stays forward and then you're going to push off just like that. Couple steps to this side, same thing, stick the landing and then you're gonna push off. So that's the first exercise you're gonna to do to help prevent any sort of knee instability or tendonitis as you go through the season. The next one we're gonna look at is a single leg squat. You're gonna start on an elevated surface and the goal here is to keep your knee right in line with your toes and then you're gonna come straight up just like that. And then nice and controlled and slow on the way back down. We don't want that knee to kick in or kick out on our way up. So if we're doing this with the other leg, same sort of principle. We're going up and then back down. We're repeating both of these for like three sets of 10 to 15 repetitions. Choose your box height wisely. The lower you go, the harder it's gonna be. Make sure you're doing this with good form and good knee stability. Hip impingement is another common injury that we see in youth athletes. And that's because of a weakness in the backside. The glutes are the posterior chain and the hamstrings. So this exercise is gonna address that. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna have your shoulder blades up against the bench. You're gonna squeeze your glutes and then you're gonna lift up. Now you're not gonna overextend your hips. You're just gonna get to a flat plane and then come back down, just like that. Another variation of this is a single leg. So you're gonna straighten that leg, come down, and then bridge back up. You can add weight to this. You can switch legs and continue with the single leg stuff. So there's lots of different variations that you can do with this exercise. We're shooting for three sets of 10 to 15 reps. This is gonna help with that glute strength and posterior chain strength and help you prevent hip impingement in the season. In sports, we often say that preparation is the key to success, but the same principles apply for rehab and injury prevention. So if you take the time before the season starts to prep your body and make sure your calves are nice and strong, you're gonna prevent ankle injuries. To make sure that your knees are nice, strong, and stable, you're gonna prevent knee injuries, and then also to make sure that your hips are nice, strong, and stable, you're gonna prevent hip injuries. So I think you get the point. 
But ultimately, you have to implement this stuff, and the best time to do it is probably about a month before the season begins or workouts or conditioning starts. Because if you do that, you're giving yourself ample time to have adaptations. The other thing is you wanna do these exercises about once every other day, or if you're extremely sore, once every two days. You wanna run through three sets of the prescribed reps that we talked about. If you're having any pain with these, stop. If you're local, you can give us a call at Peak Physiotherapy and Performance. Our number is 614-467-0285. We're happy to do a phone consultation with you. If you like this video and the content that we're providing, please click the button below and subscribe.